Looking for a way to eat healthier and lose body fat? Give Metabolic Meals a shot. It's a program I have been using since January of 2010. The food is delicious, organic, fresh, gluten-free, and delivered to your door. They couldn't make it any easier for you. 636-296-MEAL. That's 636-296-MEAL. The ITDRoll.com Morning After at Cardinal Spring Training is brought to you by Vogel Heating and Cooling, Charter Communications, Dirt Cheap, Fox and Hound Tavern, The Cheshire, Taco Bell, and Metabolic Meals. Uh, sitting down right now, I think this guy is good with the cat, but you never know when our guests sit down. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, it's Alan Craig. What's yeah, I think on? you guys are good, but the cat's giving you a weird look right We're now. We're good. You're good? We're good. All We're right. boys. The yeah, cat. Well, I don't know if there's ever anything that's real. You're, it's you're a difficult faux. guy to be around. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really kind of faux. Yeah. So I, I do see faux. that you have the, the bandage on your arm. So there was some sort of medical stuff going on this morning, correct? Yeah, physicals are, were today. Okay, because yeah. there was some some uh, question as to where are the players, and I knew the pitchers had a meeting back there, and there were some physicals uh-huh. going on. So that's where you guys were. Yeah, we had our stations, uh, gave some blood, did our deal. Have you uh, seen Lance Berkman's new, uh, new look? <laughs> yeah. What is going on? It's amazing. <laughs> I he thought. says he did it because uh, since winning the World Series, everyone's bothering him for autographs and everything. <laughs> he had to go incognito. He had to go incognito for the offseason. I know. I turned around. And he looked like uh, Chip Douglas from The Cable Guy. Have you seen that movie? Yes. Well, that is All a right, nice that's play. A, that's that's a, a nice play. That's what came to my head originally. I was thinking Village People. Okay. That, too. That, too. That's not bad. That's more your speed, though. Yeah. He had a mullet there for a while last year, too. Didn't he? He's a none man, of your business. man of many faces. That's none of your business. Now, why is that none of his business? We're having a conversation. Like, <laughs> I just like to stir it up. <laughs> Alan Craig sitting down with us here on the ITDRoll.com morning after on 590, the fan KFNS and KFNS.com. Uh, first time we've had a chance to see you here on the program. What have you been doing? Because you're not able to do what everybody else is doing. So uh-huh. what have you been doing? You've been locked in the weight room is what my sources tell me. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Spent a lot of time in the weight room, getting stronger with my legs, and, uh, you know, just doing what I can do. Uh, you know, they're, they're progressing my workout routine, you know, it seems like every week. So, uh, you know, I'm moving forward with that. And, you know, hopefully I can start uh, getting some baseball activities here in the next uh, few weeks. For those that don't know, he had some uh, off-season knee surgery. And the, and the uh, forecast for it was that sometime after the season started, you might be ready. And you were saying you're a little bit more optimistic that you could be ready for opening day. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, of course. I mean, when I had, uh, had the surgery, that was my goal is to be ready for opening day. And... Um, you know, at the worst, just at least be on the roster when we get the rings in St. Louis. Uh, you know, that, that's that's been my goal from the day that I had surgery. And, you know, I'm sticking to that. Um, you know, obviously it's a tough process. And, um, you know, give or take a, a week or two, uh, who knows. But, um, you know, I'm hoping to get back for, for opening day. Are you hitting yet at all? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, I could probably go out and take some swings in the cage and, and be fine. But it's just one of those things uh, – you know, I have so much energy in the day, and I spend it in the weight room, and, you know, that's kind of what they want me to do right now. Last what? last year when you guys – I'm sorry. Cool. I'm just gonna, once you start hitting, how soon could you be ready to go? Does it take a month after you start? It doesn't take that long, does it? I, w- I mean, I would assume that once I start, you know, doing baseball activities, things will ramp up pretty quick. And, you know, once they once they release me to do all the baseball stuff, then, you know, I should be good to go. But I think, I think running is going to be the most important thing, just uh, – making sure that I'm not favoring my leg and make sure everything's strong and, and I'm running well. You know, we obviously, when we have players sit down, we ask them about their memories from the run to the World Series and then winning it. You caught the ball that was the final out. Yeah. And I just, when I think about it, I think of you and John Jay yeah. running in to join your teammates. Biggest smiles on your faces. Yeah. Almost like you're running on a, on a cushion of air. Did it feel that way? What, what of were you course. I mean, that was... Uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life, you know, and uh, the greatest on the baseball field. I mean, just to catch the last out and to have one of your best friends that, you know, you played a lot of games in the minor leagues with and, uh, you know, did all that stuff with. To have him right there and to, to greet you and stuff was was pretty special. And to get running with it was pretty cool, too. So uh, it was just a great experience all the way around. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll never forget uh, running in with him. I'll have that mental image for the rest of my life for sure. Alan Craig with us. So the question is, where's the ball? Uh, Tony's got it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, Tony has it. Do you want it back? <laughs> no, I don't want it back. All right. I gave it to him. Oh, you did I give w- it to him yeah. voluntarily. Yeah. Did you give it to him right after the game or right after you found out he was retiring? Right after I found out he was retiring. Oh, yeah? After the game, I'd heard through the grapevine that he wanted it. 
for some reason, but I didn't know why. I was like, what, you know, why does he want it, you know? Uh, but then the next day he was, he retired. So that made a lot of sense. So, uh, I gave it to him. Uh, that's I, very selfless. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I had the, thr- I had the thrill of catching it. I mean, that's all I really needed. I, I have a lot of cool stuff in the world series. So, uh, you know, he can have the ball. What other stuff do you have from the world series? Just all my gear, all my bats and, uh, you know, uniforms and cleats and gloves and, and stuff. And, uh, team ball signed and I got a lot of cool stuff. A presence in Alexia Gondo's nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, with uh, with everything that you guys went through, what was it like for being, and you're not young as a player, but relatively inexperienced for you, Jay, Descalso, uh-huh. to go through that, you guys are all friends, to go through that together and just be not only part of this historic run, but also each one contributing in their yeah. own way. What was that like for you? It was a tremendous experience. I mean, like I said before, uh, you know, all the young guys on the team have played a lot of games together in the minor leagues. And, uh, you know, we won a lot of games down there, too, you know, won league championships. And, and uh, we'd always talked about, you know, hopefully getting the big leagues together and winning the World Series. And, uh, you know, it was just crazy how it shaked out with all uh, with Daniel at third and me in left and uh, Jay in center in the ninth inning of Game 7 of the World Series. And uh, and we all caught it out in the last inning. So, you yeah. know, it was just, it was just a – just a crazy experience and you know I, I think we're all thankful for the opportunity to get to play with you know veterans like you know Albert and and Matt and Lance and Carp and you know Wayne Wright and just you know all those guys that have been there before us so um, just a great experience all the way around. Well Alan we are uh, grateful for your time this morning very mm-hmm. hopeful that you will be back and ready to go at the start of the season and uh, congratulations once again on an incredible incredible 2011. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. All right, that's That's Alan Wright with us here on the ITDroll.com morning app.